Now, we're all aware of the growing epidemic of obesity and diabetes, but did you realise that your unhealthy lifestyle may have far more reaching consequences? With us today is writer and health consultant, Dr Francis Pitsilis. Great to see you again, Francis. Great to see you too, Mel. So tell me, just how prevalent is diabetes in our society? Well, what we know is that at Otago University, some researchers three years ago looked at the figures for 2009 and they told us that 18.7% of people had diabetes and then they projected that 20% of people have diabetes and also 20% have pre-diabetes, so that's a whopping 40% of people. Okay, that sounds like quite a high figure. It's huge. <laughs> so what do you need to look out for in somebody that you love, maybe that they might have warning signs that diabetes, they could be pre-diabetic? Well, what we already know, which is really apparent, is if you've got a family history of diabetes, if you're getting a pot tummy and it runs in the family, you've got to watch that. If you've already got blood pressure, cholesterol problems, liver abnormalities with your blood test, kidney abnormalities, gout, then you're at risk of moving forward for diabetes. Now, I've listed it so that I don't miss it because this is important for people to okay. know. What's less commonly known is if you get hypoglycemic attacks and you get sugar cravings. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, people who start to get skin tags around their neck or in their armpits and also people who get dark shading of their skin. Um, that puts you at risk. Women with polycystic ovarian syndrome, people with sleep apnea and snoring problems, even erectile dysfunction. That is not something I would have associated yes. with yes. diabetes. I know, watch out men, and women with period problems and even thyroid problems. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. So if you, is it possible to reverse these signs or reverse that if you're in that pre-diabetic Stage? Absolutely. There's a continuum from normal to pre-diabetic to diabetic and then established diabetes. I can reverse it from diabetes back and it can be reversed and you need, if you think you're at risk or your family history is at risk, you need to start early. Mm, okay. Is there evidence of pre-diabetes increasing the risk of dementia as well? There is somewhat because the researchers are telling us that people with metabolic syndrome, which is their word for pre-diabetes, have got problems with cognition and memory. And also they've related blood sugar level directly to difficulties with memory. Okay, this all sounds a little bit terrifying. Well, yes, it's important to sort of get, but you can reverse it. And also, I guess it means that we should be living very healthy lifestyles as, as well. So what would be your top tips then to try and prevent diabetes? Well, have a look forward at your family history and at your own history. Uh, immediately start your Mediterranean diet with low carbs. Uh, talk to your doctor and check your blood sugar and also ask early on, doctor, is it worth me trying metformin, which is a diabetes drug, mm -hmm. but metformin lowers your blood sugar, lowers insulin, helps you lose weight and stops the cravings. Okay, right. So there's a few things that we need Absolutely. to be thinking about. That's very, very good advice. Francis, thank you so much. Appreciate Once again, always so informative. Uh, for more information about Dr. Francis Pitsilis and the services offered at her Regenerative Medicine Institute, go to her website.